Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to add emotion in 11 labs. So let's get in. Once you jump into 11labs.io, you want to go over to the left hand side and tap on speech and you will find yourself on this page. Now you want to select text to speech. You want to leave this setting exactly as it is because that is the best setting recommended. And then you want to choose your voice over here from this drop down. So once you've chosen your voice, you want to go down and make sure that this voice settings on the right hand side with the little arrow is being opened up now from here what you can do is go ahead and change the stability the clarity similarity and the exaggeration style okay so now we can come down here to the text box and here in the text box you can actually enter in whatever text you want so what i've put in here simply is you better like this video comma or else full stop Okay, so this is um, what it sounds like with the settings as it is. We can click on generate. You better like this video or else. Some of the other things that we can do here if we want to add emotion is take out the comma. Perhaps we want to take away the full stop and we want to put three exclamations in there. You better like this video or else. So it's a little bit more aggressive. All right. We can also go up to the voice settings and you can actually take this stability. You can take it all the way down to um, I'm going to put it on 30 percent and say generate. You better like this video or else. All right. That does sound uh, slightly different. And now I'm going to take it all the way down to 15 and I'm going to move the clarity plus similarity up to uh, let's say 80 percent. Right. You better like this video or else. Now, the important part of this whole exercise is making sure that you are um, changing this according to your needs. So if we put this all the way down to, say, 20, the exaggeration st style, and we say generate. You better like this video or else. That's completely different, right? So what you want to do is make sure that you are finding the balance. OK, so if you're putting this all the way to the extremes, it's going to sound absolutely crazy. You better like this video or else. And now for the bonus tip. If you put too many exclamations, it starts reading everything in different languages. You better like this video or else. ASMOD. So you've got to just be careful as to what you enter in here. You can also use, um, as I did before, you can use commas. Um, like here you can also have a look at potentially using phrases like this in front of your text um, and this kind of works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work it's something you have to play around with and something else that works is just putting the actual word in commas like that inverted commas and then also um, instead of these inverted commas using uh, these symbols as well that could also work and it just depends on how you want your voice to sound you can play around with all these different settings and see what works for you and there we go ladies and gentlemen you better like this video or else peace